Hey everybody, it's Stone Dope here, here back with another episode of Let's Play Stone Pokemon Leaf Green. In the last episode, we defeated our rival Gary for a second time. Uh, we leveled up our Pokemon a bit, and uh, and we made it to Viridian Forest. And in this episode, uh, we are going to go around Viridian Forest, fight some trainers, catch a new Pokemon, see a bunch of new Pokemon, get some items, and make our way to the other side. So there's a Pokeball right there, that's kind of handy. Uh, but we get into a battle, so let's see one of the new Pokemon. Yes, this is a Caterpie. Uh, so there's basically two fan. It's a bug Pokemon. Uh, there's basically two. So our uh, so <laughs> Tokoro is gonna eat these guys up because fire is good against bug. Uh, so basically, Caterpie is not that great. Uh, neither is its counterpart, which we uh, won't really see, I don't think, uh, so I guess I'll just mention it, it's Weedle. Uh, it's in the Fire Red version. Uh, we get Caterpie with Leaf Green, and Fire Red gets Weedle, uh, which is a bug and poison type, uh, and they both have uh, kind of different chains that they evolve through, so uh, Caterpie goes to Metapod, and, uh, and then from Metapod to Butterfree. Oh, no, wait, we do have Weedle. My apologies, that's what I thought. I thought they were in both versions. I don't know what I'm... whatever. Anyways, so we'll get to see both. This is a Weedle. Uh, I think we'll get to see Metapods and Weedle's uh, evolution, which is a Kakuna, excuse me. And then from Kakuna, it goes into a Beedrill. Uh, I don't think any of these trainers have any of those Pokemon right now. But uh, So those are the main Pokemon that we uh, will find in Viridian Forest. I think there might be Pidgeys here as well, or something like that. Uh, but we've already seen those. There's also one new Pokemon. It's pretty rare, uh, but that is the Pokemon that we are going to uh, catch, actually. So uh, we'll hopefully find that. If not, I'm going to have to go off screen and uh, go around and kind of try and catch it. But I think this guy's a trainer, actually. Is he? Let's talk to him. I was throwing Pokeballs to catch Pokemon, and it ran out. That's why you never can have. Yeah, that's why you can never have too many Pokemon. Or Pokeballs, not Pokemon. <laughs> um, but no, he's not a trainer. Sorry. Uh, so maybe our first trainer. This is our first trainer. So basically, the way trainers work is if you go into their eyesight, they will have a little uh, Metal Gear Solid exclamation mark. Oh my God, I see you. Hey, you have Pokemon. Come on, let's battle them. And they will want to battle you. You cannot uh, refuse a battle, uh, and you cannot run. Uh, you basically just have to fight them, so if you don't want to fight, avoid eye contact with them, basically. But, like I said before, because we have a Ch Charmander, which is a fire Pokemon, it's going to burn through these bug Pokemon like it's nothing. Also, it's a critical hit, so yeah. So you should be able to level up your uh, your fire Pokemon. Uh, well, I guess fire Pokemon, you, everybody would have. Uh, <laughs> everybody would have a Charmander right now if they had a fire Pokemon. But uh, fire is not going to be very good for uh, for the first gym coming up which is why we have our Mankey, uh, but this is a good place to level your Charmander before the gym because he's going to have a real rough time in there. Yeah, so that was the first battle. Um, so like I said before, you get money and you also get much more experience uh, for dealing with uh, a trainer instead of just like a regular Pokemon wild battle, which uh, you don't get any money for. Uh, see, that guy, if you got into his vision, he would challenge you to a battle, but because we avoided him, we don't have to battle him. Uh, we got an antidote, cool. That's handy because uh, Weedle and uh, I think other Pokemon maybe, maybe just Weedle, <laughs> will poison you here. Uh, let's try and walk past this guy. We did it, yay. Good, because he turns around and tries to look at you. <laughs> um, but uh, let's head through the grass here. Oh, oh it's just a, I was just about to say no battles, but never mind. I guess I'll just cut through because we've seen Caterpie before. Okay, back from that Caterpie battle. Um, there's a couple trainers up here that you can't avoid. Uh, you basically just, well, you can avoid that guy. You don't need to deal with him. <laughs> um, and that's the exit over there, actually. We're actually pretty close to being, uh, we're being done, so I might have to go off screen and, uh, and find the rare Pokemon that I, well, it's not really that rare, but it's just rare percentage-wise, um, that, uh, I want to catch here, because that Pokemon is going to be a permanent member of our team. It's never going to leave our team. Uh, so yeah, let's get out this Weedle out of the way. Uh, and there is a trainer up here, so hopefully we'll get to the trainer without having another random battle. There we go, trainer it is. Hey, wait up, what's the hurry? What's the rush? Or why the rush? Man, I've fucked up lines a lot. Um, it's late, I'm high. All that stuff combined. Bug catcher Sammy would like to battle. Yeah, the way that the trainer names work, it's it's always like a title first, so in this case, bug catcher. There's like, uh... Uh, junior trainer and blah 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 and then a name at the end so this is Bugcatcher Sammy. The title is Bugcatcher, the name is Sammy. And 
he's got a Weedle, which Tokoro is going to light on fire until it passes out. <laughs> That's basically how it works. Yeah, 99 experience points, awesome. I give, you're good at this. Yeah, give me your money. Alright, uh, okay, so we're at the end, so I am going to just run around in this grass here until we find the Pokemon that we want, and we will catch that bitch. Oh, we found a Metapod, I guess. That's, that's different. So we actually get to see a Metapod this time. Uh, I'm gonna light this bitch on fire. We'll give him more experience than uh, these Caterpies and Beetles that I've been slaughtering. <laughs> oh, not enough just yet. But uh, we're still looking for that other Pokemon. Oh my god, oh my god, there it is. There's my guy. Yeah, it's a boy, so there's my guy. <laughs> I hope... Oh my god, I hope this doesn't kill him. Wait, you know what? I'm gonna switch out to Melvin because he is lower level and hopefully will not kill Pikachu in one hit. All I need is you to just take one hit, buddy. Just don't die. Just don't die. Come on. Sweet. Okay, awesome. Perfect. Oh, and he's using Growl. Did he use Growl before? Man, I'm so high, I don't even know what's going on. I'll use Scratch again then, because it won't kill him, because we got Growl up. Awesome. Beautiful. Well done, Pikachu. Okay, we are going to catch this little bitch. Look how happy he is. What a cute little guy. Alright. Uh, whoops. Whoa, see, that's how high I am. I'm going to Pokemon when I should be going to Bag. Uh, Pokeball. Use. Yeah, Pikachu inside a Pokeball? What? Whoa. I guess... He's a little frisky. We'll throw another one then. That's why we bought a few extra Pokeballs, just because they break free sometimes. And it only makes sense that Pikachu would not want to be stuck inside a Pokeball. There we go. Gotcha. Pikachu was caught. Yeah, Pikachu's data was added to the Pokedex. When several of these Pokemon gather, their electricity can build and cause lightning storms. It is the most Pokemon. Yeah, so, uh, you know what? I haven't really decided on a nickname for Pikachu yet. Um, so I'm just gonna say no for right now, because, I mean, he's Pikachu. Pikachu is a... He's the main character of Pokemon, other than Ash, I mean. So, I mean, come on. Look at that. Pikachu. Yeah, that's amazing. Uh, we'll just leave him as Pikachu. We can... We have a chance to, uh, rename our Pokemon later in the game. Uh, so maybe I'll do it then once I come up with a name, but for right now, we're just going to stick with Pikachu. I think he's going to be the only one, though, that has his regular name. But here we are in Pewter City. Uh, where is the... Yeah, the... <laughs> the uh, Pokemon Center. Let's heal up all of our wounded Pokemon. Our Pokemon and women. Wait, we only have guys. Maybe we'll have an all-guy team. I'm not sure. It seems that... Uh, Males are, like, the male gender is kind of favored in the Pokemon world. It seems like there's more males than there are females. Uh, but anyways, uh, now that we are in Pewter City, uh, let me just see my Pokemon right here. Yeah, uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna want to level my Pokemon up. But, uh, for right now, let's, uh, let's see what there is to do in Pewter City. Let's check the Pokemart and see if there's any new items. What you got at the Pokemart? We got Pokeball, Potion, Antidote, Paralyze, Heal, Awakening, Burn, Heal, Escape Rope. Uh, escape Ropes, yeah, they let you uh, instantly escape from a, a dungeon, which is actually pretty handy, but I think we'll be coming upon some Escape Ropes as we go. Uh, repels are super handy. Um, they will alleviate a lot of annoyance, um, so I'm going to pick up three of them just to have for safekeeping in case there's a place where I'm just like, okay, I really don't want to come across any more battles. I hope I remember to use them, because uh, in my earlier years of Pokemon, I never used repels, like, ever, so I kind of have a habit of just not using repels. Uh, yeah, just check out the Pewter Museum of Science. Dun dun dun, hello. It's 50 for a child's ticket. Yeah, okay, whatever, good enough. Right, 50 yen. I'm pretty sure that's the yen symbol. Uh, let's check out what we got here. Ooh, an Aerodactyl fossil, a primitive and rare Pokemon. What's over here? A Kabutops fossil, a primitive and rare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, very original. I should be grateful for my long life. Never did I think I would get to see the bones of a dragon. Yeah, it does kind of look like a dragon, doesn't it? That's it. Wait, is there something on the wall? Oh wait, there's stairs right there. 
I, I knew there, I was like, isn't there a second floor? Yeah, alright, let's talk to this dude. Yeah, Pikachu soon, I promise. I've got one. I want a Pikachu, it's so cute. Ask my daddy to catch me one. If I was your daddy, I wouldn't give you my Pikachu. That's a space shuttle. <laughs> this month we're running a space exhibit. Wow, I like space. Moonstone, huh? What's so special about it? Looks like an ordinary rock to me. It's a stone from the moon. A meteorite that fell on Mount Moon. It is thought to be a moonstone. July 20th, 1969. Humankind first set foot on the moon that day. I bought a color TV just so I could watch that news. Wasn't the moon landing in black and white? So why would he buy a color TV? It doesn't make any sense. Wait, did we already... Yeah, we already talked to that guy. He just said it was science. Or space themed day or whatever the fuck. Uh, we can't get over to that side building right now. Um, but uh, pretty much that's it for Pewter City right now. Uh, other than, of course, this gym right here. Let's talk to this chick, though. The fairy came from the moon. That's what the rumor is. They appear after moonstones fell on Mount Moon. Oh, cool. Anyways, let's check out the gym. Pewter City Pokemon Gym. Leader Brock. The rock-solid Pokemon trainer. Yeah, so obviously he has rock types, which is why we have our Mankey. Um, so, basically... Um, I think before we do this, I'm going to level up my Pikachu just a bit, uh, and maybe even Melvin a level or two, uh, because these Pokemon are higher level, uh, and we only really have one Pokemon that can do any damage, because Electric is not good against Rock, and neither is Fire, so we only really have one Pokemon that can do stuff, so uh, I'm going to do some leveling before we attempt this gym, so I'll see you guys when we're done leveling. Okay, I guess I thought I might as well uh, show you this. Yeah, show you guys this now. Uh, when you want to level up a low-level Pokemon, uh, and he's kind of too low-level to really battle himself, like Pikachu's pretty weak at this level. Um, what you want to do is just ha have the uh, the weak Pokemon, the Pokemon you want leveled, at the first slot in your party, and then once he's out, just switch Pokemon right away. So we're gonna switch to uh, Melvin because he'll fuck up this Rattata for us. Um, and uh, basically, if you just kill the uh let me just low kick this motherfucker here <laughs> um i'll get that it's gonna take two hits if you uh if you kill the pokemon with the uh stronger pokemon basically the experience will be divided between all the pokemon that were sent out in the battle so in this case pikachu will get half the experience and melvin will get half the experience so pikachu gets 20 and melvin gets 20 so that helps a lot with uh leveling lower level pokemon i just wanted to show you guys that real quick Okay, so Tokoro just grew to level 13, uh, and when uh, Charmander hits 13 in this game, this didn't happen in uh, in Blue and Red, the originals, but uh, it happens in Fire, Fire Red and Leaf Green. Uh, Tokoro, or no, Char excuse me, Charmander learns uh, Metal Claw. Uh, so Metal Claw is a Steel type attack, uh, which is actually good against Rock. So uh, if you can get your Charmander to level 13, he can actually do some good damage in uh, in the first gym here. I just wanted to let you guys know that in case you guys chose or opted not to uh, pick up a Mankey back at uh, Route 22 there. So anyways, we'll see you guys at the gym. Okay, we are back from grinding a little bit. Pikachu is level 7, Melvin's level 9, and Tokoro is level 13. So uh, let's jump right in. Let's talk to this dude first. Aya, do you want to dream big? Do you dare to dream of becoming the Pokemon champ? I'm no trainer, but I can advise you on how to win. Let me take you to the top. Yes, take us to the top. Alright, let's get happening. First Pokemon out in a match is at the left of the- Yeah, okay, we've- Yeah, we know that. Alright, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Wow, that's it. Okay, wow. I don't care about you. Anyways, uh, in most gym battles, or in most gyms, rather, uh, there's uh, other trainers beforehand. In this case, there's only one trainer beforehand, and it's this little dude right here. So if we walk up here, he will stop us with his vision. Stop right there, kid. You're 10,000 light years from facing Brock. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Camper, yeah, so this guy's a camper, and his name is Liam. <laughs> camper Liam would like to battle. Camper Liam sent out Geodude. So Geodude is a rock slash ground type, uh, so low kick should work well on him because of the rock part. The ground doesn't have an effect, but because fighting is good against rock type, a low kick should be nice, but uh, defense curl makes his defense rise, but low kick should be good. Come on, just keep low kicking his ass. Ah, no pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I see. I think he's just gonna keep. 
Oh, per critical hit, perfect. I was gonna say, I think he's just gonna keep spamming defense curl. Uh, so Geodude's down, Melvin gains 183 experience without even taking a hit. Uh, so his next Pokemon is Sandshrew. Um, so I guess I'll just keep Melvin out, because I don't really have any Pokemon that are good against uh, Sandshrew. I only have Pokemon that are not good against Sandshrew. Um, so let's try fighting again. I don't know. I think fighting is normal again. Yeah, it doesn't do that much. We'll see how much uh, Scratch does. See if it does any more. Uh, about the same. He keeps using Defense Curl, that asshole. But I think um, Low Kick, I think, uh, has a higher chance to crit. Oh no, he's using Sand Attack to kill this asshole quickly. Because if he uses Sand Attack too many times, oh man, he's still gonna use it. It's bastard. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do is I'm going to leer him. I'm just gonna lower his. Oh man. Don't use Sand Attack. Wow, I did a lot of damage actually. Yeah. Um, a good strategy if if you have a Pokemon that has Sand Attack is to just Sand Attack the shit out of them and then start attacking like he's doing here. Um, I'll try a low kick. Try it again one more time or else. God damn it, this is rough. This is this is gonna be a tough sand shoot because I let him uh, get. Oh, that worked out nicely. Um, shit. All right, I'm gonna switch because I do not want Melvin to die. I'm gonna send up Tokoro. Let's see if we can finish him off. Uh, because Tokoro does not have his accuracy lowered. Wait, no, he has his accuracy lowered a bit now. <laughs> this bastard. Uh, he's using a very good strategy though at, at Sandshrew. I mean, defense curl and then sand attack and then just like scratching. That's that's pretty darn good. Fuck, it's two sand attacks now. I think five is the maximum you can be down, I think, so th this is three now. I just need one more scratch though. Sweet, awesome, way to go. Cool. Awesome, Melvin levels. Sweet. Oh yeah, I never showed you guys Melvin's stats before, but he's got high attack and high speed, basically. That's about it. That's that's the way shit goes. <laughs> Most of my Pokemon are going to have high attack and high speed. Light years isn't time, it measures distance. I know that. You're the one who didn't know that. You used it improperly, you asshole. Uh, yeah, 220 yen. Sweet. Okay, we're going to go save in the Pokemon Center real quick. I'm not save, excuse me, heal our Pokemon because one of them is basically dead and one of them is hurt. Okay, now that we're all healed up, it's time to face the gym leader, Brock. So you're here. I'm Brock. I'm Peter's gym er, yeah, Peter's gym leader. <laughs> my rock hard willpower is evident even in my Pokemon. My Pokemon are all rock hard and have true grit determination. I've said rock hard a lot. That's right, my Pokemon are all the rock type. Fahaha. <laughs> You're gonna challenge me knowing that you'll lose? That's the trainer's honor that compels you to challenge me. Fine then, show me your best. Alright, so this is our first gym battle. Brock only has two Pokemon, and they're both uh, rock and ground type. First is Geodude, we've seen him before, and we wiped him out earlier with Mankey, so let's do it again. Super effective. Alright, he's, he's using the same strategy as before, which is just defense curl spam. Uh, so we'll just continuously low kick, and hopefully he should die in one more shot, possibly two. We'll see how much his defense is raised by this defense curl. Come on! Oh, one more. Shit. And he actually used tackle. Okay, so uh, Melvin's like I like we showed before in the uh, in the stats. Melvin's uh, defense isn't that great. It's okay, but he's much better at just like attacking for one turn type deal, like finishing it quick. Anyways, he's sending out Onyx, which uh, is actually good for us because Onyx is super heavy. So low kick should do a lot of damage, I believe. But Onyx is faster than us, even though he's not very fast. But yeah, look at all the damage it did, because Onyx is so heavy, it does a shit ton of damage. So Melvin is perfect for this fight. One more low kick should actually do it. Yeah. See, if you don't have a Squirtle or a Bulbasaur, if you picked Charmander, Mankeys make this fight so much easier. Sweet, Melvin grew to level 11. Awesome. And he learned Karate Chop. Awesome. Karate Chop is a is another fighting move that's a very nice alternative uh, to using Low Kick if the Pokemon is not very heavy. As proof of your victory, I conferred on you this, the official Pokemon League Boulder Badge. And we got the Boulder Badge from Brock. Awesome. 
Sweet music. <laughs> Just having the boulder badge makes your Pokemon more powerful. It also enables the use of the move Flash outside of battle. Of course, a Pokemon must know the move Flash to use it. And we got 1400 yen. That's awesome. That's a lot of money. Money. Money pieces. <laughs> Wait, take this with you. And we got TM39. Uh, so, yeah, a TM, a technical machine, contains a technique for a Pokemon. Using a TM teaches the move it contains to a Pokemon. TM is good for only one use, so when you use one, pick the Pokemon carefully. Anyways, TM39 contains Rock Tomb. It hurls boulders at the foe and lowers its speed. Very cool. Uh, so yeah, so after every gym battle, we get a, we get a badge, and we also get a TM. Which, uh, in this game, that they didn't do in blue and red, they actually have a separate uh, bag for your TMs. Like, they have a TM case, so you can open your TM case and see all the different TMs you have. So we have Rock Tomb, you can see its power, its accuracy, and its PP. Let's see if we can teach it to anybody. Um, Melvin is able to, so you know what, let's see... I've, I might just teach it to Melvin. Let's see which move should be forgotten. Um, scratch, Leer, Low Kick, and Karate Chop. I guess we should just make him low. No, no, I'm gonna save it. I'm not gonna. He's he's fine where he is. Cause Rock isn't good uh, against that many types. Uh, it's good against flying, but Melvin is fighting, and flying is good against fighting, so that wouldn't really work right. So I'll just save it for right now. Um, yeah, so that's basically all there is to do in Pewter City right now. I believe if we just walk over here, this should trigger something. Oh wait, no, it's just this dude right here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, here it is. This guy. Oh, Kevin! I'm glad I caught up to you. I'm Professor Oak's aide. I've been asked to deliver this, so here you go. And we get the best item in the game, the running shoes. We got shoes, give me some shoes. And when you press the B button, you're running. But only when there's room to run. Well, I must be going back to the lab. Bye-bye. Yeah, so now when we hold B, we can run super fast. There's a letter attached. Dear Kevin, here is a pair of running shoes for my beloved challenger. Remember, I'll always cheer for you. Don't ever give up. From Mom. She didn't say love Mom. That's, she doesn't love us. But she did give us running shoes. See, look at that. We're not going very fast, and now we're hauling ass. Yeah, I love the running shoes. I uh, Since any game where there's running shoes, I usually don't use the bike very much. When there's no running shoes, I'm always on the bike. But uh, yeah, anyways, we'll get a bike later in the game, but we won't really use it. So we're running shoes, running shoes, yay! Anyways, uh, in the next episode, we'll be heading off to the east here on... Wait, notice, the reeves have been stealing... Yeah, please go, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, Mount Moon, which is in this direction. So that's where we'll be heading in the next episode. Uh, but we're ending it right here. Uh, Stonedale Pier signing off. I will see you guys next episode.